Sophie's Antique and welcome back to a new video. So as you can tell, this is a different video because I am going to be doing a Q&A. So there was this girl called Bailey Green. I've shouted her out before and she gave me the idea. She commented down below on my 100 subscribers video. Go check it out. Um, to do a Q&A. So here I am doing a Q&A. Okay. It's just that it was a little hot. Okay. So, so let's get started. Okay. So first question coming in by Bailey Green. Green. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, coming in at Bailey Green. What equipment do you film with? Um, so a lot of people ask this. Abby gives advice, something like that. She also commented. What? Oh my goodness. She also commented, what equipment do you film with? So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys answers. So, I use my tablet and this machine called the IP, though. Um, as you can see, it's called IP, uh, IPVO. I will link their website down below if you want to go buy your own to make some bracelet tutorials. Um, this one is the wireless one. It's turquoise. There's a bunch of different colors, and you can get it um, with wires. To be honest, I think that it is a little more convenient wireless, but it depends on how much your budget is and stuff like that. But yeah, I use the IPVO, but you will also have to get this app called the IPVO Whiteboard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I finally fixed the camera a little bit. Hopefully, that's a better angle. So, yeah. Oh, my. So, yeah, I use the IPVO whiteboard. And you'll have to go on the app, the IPVO whiteboard. You'll turn on your IPVO right here. Then you're going to go over to settings. And you're going to put in the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi um, is right down here. That's my Wi-Fi for my IPVO. So your Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi for the IPVO is going to be all the way down here. So yeah, and then you'll have to go on IPVO whiteboard and you can, and there's going to be like the IPVO thingy. So you're going to click it and you're going to start recording. And then you can put on flash. Girl, what's wrong with this? You can put on flash. You can put on flash, do a different filter and stuff. You can, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can put the exposure and less exposure. You can focus it and the power button. So yeah, that is what I use to record. On to the next question. By the way, that question was by Bailey Breen. The next one, same person. Why did you start your channel? Um, I started my channel because um, I thought that Rainbow Loom was a really interesting thing and I really liked it. So I was like, I'm really happy with what I do, so why not inspire others and hopefully get them to do the same thing? as me and post videos on YouTube so they can learn. So I started my channel just because I wanted you guys to do something during this quarantine and also because I wanted to share my experience and my creations with others. So that's why I started my YouTube channel. Next, by Bailey Breen again, who inspired you to do Rainbow Loom? I got inspired by this really nice girl called Emmeline. I don't know if that's how you spell it, Emily Emmeline. I will put her channel thumbnail right here. Um, she is a really nice girl. She inspired me to do Rainbow Loom because she has a bunch of pretty designs and stuff like that. 
And some people have been misunderstanding me down in the comments and saying, why would you copy Emma Lyons Lutique? I copied her just so you guys know that she was my inspiration to start YouTube, not for any other reason. So yeah, that's question number three. Next one by Bailey Breen. Can you live stream soon? I am really thinking about live stream, live streaming, sorry. But the only bad thing is that you can't live stream on iPad and you have to live stream on either your MacBook or your, your PC. And um, I really don't like the PC so much, so I am really going to think about it. And when I have, I'll put the pinned comment and I'll comment down below the answer because I really don't know if I'm gonna do that. So yeah, next question. What or who inspired you to make YouTube videos? By Simply Sir Johnny. I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. But, yeah. I'm sorry if I can't didn't pronounce that right. I'm so sorry. But the person who inspired me to make YouTube videos was actually my mom. Because I saw that she was posting YouTube. So I was like, why not I do YouTube? So yeah, my mom is called Sugary Times Bakery. I will um, put all her socials down in the description and stuff like that. So yeah, my mom inspired me to make YouTube videos. So now by Nye or Nyla, she's been a supporter for a really long time and I adore you. Same with Bailey Breen and all of my supporters. Um, so she commented three questions in one. So let's see. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is. Oh my God, where is it? Where are you? Oh, I have it in my hair. My favorite color is purple. I just really think that it's nice and galaxy ish, and I like it. So, yeah, my favorite color is purple. What's your favorite Rainbow Loom band? Oh, limited edition, opaque, jelly, etc. Um, my favorite Rainbow Loom band, I really don't know. Um, I love Limited Edition with all my heart. Mm -hmm. I love Limited Edition. So yeah, Limited Edition is like, I don't use Limited Edition that much, but I just like it. But the one that I use the most is, um, probably opaque so yeah next one what's your favorite bracelet design hook only or loom my favorite bracelet design um i don't know probably the one that i invented i'll go get it oh my goodness i call it the teardrop trister bracelet i'm trying to look oh here it is Called the Teardrop Twister. This is my favorite bracelet design. I invented it. And it's with limited edition bands. What a coincidence. So yeah, it's called the Teardrop Twister. And then I like personally loom bracelets. I do not like hook only. I've tried a lot of hook only designs and they end up being either way too hard or I don't like the part where you flip the hook and stuff. So yeah. I like loom bracelets better. By Nyla. Okay. Then she commented again. Five, four questions in one. What's your favorite design? Again, uh, not meant to hate. The teardrop twister. Uh, hook only or loom designs? Loom designs. What's your most used color? Oh my. My most used color would probably have to be white. <laughs> yeah, that's my most used color, white. I know, I can't believe it either. That's why in my Loom Bands haul, I bought five packs of white. Yeah, my favorite, I mean, my most used color is So last question from Nyla, do you crochet? And if you do, do you use it for rainbow loom patterns? 
Unfortunately, I don't crochet, but I'm really thinking about getting into it. And if I would have crocheted, then yes, I would use it in my rainbow loom patterns. Um, so Bailey Breen, once again, asked, how old are you? Um, I'm 10 years old. So, yeah, I am 10 years old. And she asked, are you a disco girl? Hold up. Yes, I am a visco girl. I have actually started being a visco girl ever since the trend started. Looks friendies. I'll be right back. Vans approved. I have Mario Bedescu. And I have um chopstick, Burt's Bees, and I have the Hydro Flask. I'll put a picture of it right here. So yeah, I am a visco girl. <laughs> but unfortunately, I've reached the end of all of my questions. So yeah, guys. Um, unfortunately, this is the end of the video. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And I know I'm going really fast. And don't forget to like it and comment down below for more questions so I can do a part two of this Q&A. And I will give you five seconds to hit the subscribe button. Five, four, three, two, one. If you haven't, then make sure you do. Bye, guys.